Olympic gold is the pinnacle of many sports, and that's certainly the case for Greco-Roman wrestling and judo, two disciplines that have obvious differences like the use of the judogi, but also many overlapping similarities. In Greco-Roman wrestling all holds below the waist area are forbidden, this of course includes grabbing your opponent's legs. So all attacks must be performed from the waist up. In Olympic judo, you cannot grab the legs while standing. This rule is relatively recent. Leg grabs were initially banned in 2010. Then in 2013, this ban was strengthened, and it became completely illegal to even touch your opponent's legs or trousers during a standing grapple. But you can do it on the ground, and you can also trip your opponent using your own legs, which isn't allowed in Greco-Roman wrestling. Another big difference are submissions, which are not allowed in wrestling, but are an important part of judo. So what do you think happens when an Olympic judo champion faces an Olympic Greco-Roman champion in an MMA fight? There is no straightforward answer, as this depends on the practitioners and many other factors, but thanks to Pride Fighting Championships, we got to witness a prime example of it when Hidehiko Yoshida and Rulan Garner squared off inside the ring. The fight was part of Pride's New Year's event on December 31, 2004 at the Saitama Super Arena in Japan in front of a crowd of 48,398 spectators. The packed card included the likes of Fedor, Nogueira, Mark Hunt, Vandalei Silva, Krokop, Dan Henderson, Anderson Silva, and many other legends. Here are some comparisons between the two. They are almost the same age, Yoshida is two years older than Gardner. Yoshida won his Olympic gold early in his career, at Barcelona 92, at the 173 pounds division, at 22 years of age. Gardner won his crown eight years later, at Sydney 2000, at super heavyweight, at 29 years of age. Yoshida had been fighting MMA professionally for two years and was coming off a submission victory over Mark Hunt. He'd always were his judogi in the ring, and despite it generally being a disadvantage, he would sometimes use it offensively. Gardner on the other hand never fought MMA before or after this fight. He prepared for this commitment at Team Quest with fellow wrestlers Dan Henderson and Randy Couture who was the current UFC light heavyweight champion and worked Gardner's corner. Technically both Yoshida and Gardner are heavyweights, but there was a massive 75 pounds weight advantage for the wrestler, who tipped the scales at 295 pounds. The bell rings and Yoshida starts testing his striking. It's not uncommon to see two great grapplers cancelling each other out and engaging in striking battles. Gardner looks for an opening and tags Yoshida with a jab and drops him. Yoshida uses a classic guard and tries to create some angles, but Gardner shifts his weight to stay out of trouble. After a couple minutes, Gardner stands up and invites Yoshida to do the same. Yoshida opens with an overhand right and shortly attempts to penetrate, but it's received by Gardner's sprawl and some knees to the head. Yoshida manages to get back to his feet. He connects once again, ties Gardner and tries to unbalance him. Both fighters throw down. And after a couple of exchanges Yoshida tries once again to reach for Gardner's legs. Fails, but ties him up. Locks an overhook. And goes for a leg lock. but it's stopped by the timer. During the break, we see Gardner's bruised leg from Yoshida's inside leg kicks. After a couple of exchanges, they tie again. This time Yoshida goes for a throw, but it slips right out and he ends up taking some punishment. Yoshida once again tries to shoot and they end up tying up. Gardner has an underhook and grips Yoshida's collar. He drives his weight on Yoshida and suddenly unbalances him, sending him to the canvas, just in time for the bell. The third and last round starts, with Yoshida connecting a low kick off a combination. 
They continue with the back and forth and after some minutes, they get a yellow card due to inactivity. Gardner presses the action and both fighters slug it out. Yoshida tags Gardner. They end up tied again, with Garner achieving the underhook and gripping Yoshida's collar once again, who goes for the headlock, and threatens Garner with a throw. Another attempt and Gardner lands on top. A few seconds remain as Yoshida tries to shift his hips from his guard, but is interrupted by the bell. A great display of skill from both fighters. Gardner takes the unanimous decision over a Yoshida that did a great job despite an overwhelming weight difference. Don't forget to check out the new Brazilian Luta Livre t-shirt from Gotch Fightwear. The links are in the description or visit gotchfightwear.com. This video was produced by Didos and the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Join the World Submission Wrestling Federation. Visit our official website at submissionwrestlingarts.com.